I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally trying the powder that I told you is going viral on social media years later. I'm not sure why it's this specific color. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let's go. So if you did not see that video, I told you guys that I picked up the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Bake Setting Powder in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake because for some reason this pink shade is going viral on TikTok, on Instagram. I saw a couple videos on it on uh, YouTube as well. And y'all know like this is not a new product. I have this in the shade Cinnamon Bun, I think is what it's called, but it's a more, you know, it's a shade closer to my skin tone. But for some reason, this pink shade is supposed to be like the next best thing since sliced bread. So let's see about it. So this retails for $38 for 0.71 ounces. This comes in one, two, not nine shades. And actually this shade Cherry Blossom is available right now. When I tell you guys this was sold out for like two months leading up to that Sephora sale and then it sold out during the sale and after. So it's available right now. Will it be available when I post this video? Who knows? But um, an easy to use loose powder, perfectly curated for all skin tones to create an airbrush, long lasting complexion, blur the appearance of pores and fine lines and hold makeup in place all day long. All right, I mean, we kind of knew that because we've tried this powder before, but it's this shit. That is what the powder looks like, very pink. Okay, she's giving white. She's giving literally white, but you know. Okay, all right. Um. Does it have a scent? I smell flower. Why is everything so scented lately? But I know Huda does um, put fragrance in her, a lot of her products. I don't remember smelling it in cinnamon bun though. So is it cinnamon bun? As you see, I only did one side of my face because we are going to test that out with another color. Today the focus is not so much the finish or the formula of the powder that we're using to set our face, even though so, what? It's... Can I talk today? This is why it takes me so long to film videos. Um, so I feel like today the focus is not formula or anything like that. It's strictly color. So I want to try what I usually would use like a beige yellow shade. So I'm going to use the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Banana. Yes, I said Banana intentionally like that. This retails for $36. Comes in eight shades, I think, if I can count. You get 0.98 ounces, and this, a super fine, weightless, loose setting powder in eight sheer, ooh, I can count, sheer shades to perfect and extend makeup wear for a filtered, photo-ready finish on lock. Okay. It's been a minute since I've used the Fenty powder, because you know she is matte. Matte, matte, which is also why I used NARS Sheer Glow today, you know, kind of balance it out. So this is what we're working with, Huda, Fenty, yellow, pink, white, it's giving white. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get to the part where, you know, I would have to dust this off so we can see what the overall finish is going to be. Okay, so powder is dusted off, Huda side, Fenty side. Am I bugging or does it seem a little more seamless on this side? I don't know, like I feel like, is it giving ashen on the other side? My face is not fully done. I'm just showing you what it looks like immediately after I wipe the powder away. Let me finish my face. So that is it for my face. And I feel like if I didn't tell you or start this video showing you that I used two different color powders, you wouldn't really know. But now that you know and you can focus in on it, I feel like I see slight differences. I like both. I, you know, obviously, you know, Fenty side. Huda side, but I don't know that Huda, you know, 
because I definitely came in this a little skeptical like you know a specific shade going viral is weird because you know like undertone skin tone is a thing but I don't, I don't know y'all I just, I might have to do a flash test, I'll, if I remember, I'll insert a flash test here because it was giving white when I put it on my face. But now that it's, I don't know, I feel like it's getting a little seamless, which might be the finish as opposed to the color making it look that way. But I don't feel like there's that big of a difference as far as like using the two different colors on my face. But let me know. I feel like I would definitely keep playing around with the Huda. Um, and also like, I'll see what this shade in this formula looks like wearing it throughout the day because the other one I wear is more like a skin tone shade so that's something I use to set my entire face this you know setting that under eye area I wonder how that for well not necessarily wonder but just see how that formula wears throughout the day um, for where I set it uh, but yeah that is pretty much it for this video let me know if you've tried this if you think it's worth the hype that social media is giving it if you want my answer on what I think of the hype, I don't know. I really don't. Do I think it's as big? Do I think it meets the hype for as much as the hype is? Not necessarily, especially because it's such an old product. Like, is the shade new? Is the shade new or are people just realize, you know, like this shade was more universal than the translucent shade? Someone let me know in the comments down below. But, can, can the height be a little correct? I don't know. I just, I, let me know. So that is it for this video. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.